हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द सिक्सटीन पार्ट ऑफ फ्लेक्सिबल पैकेजिंग वीडियो सीरीज दिस पार्ट इज अबाउट प्रोजेक्ट रिपोर्ट फॉर सेटिंग अप ए फ्लेक्सिबल पैकेजिंग यूनिट इन इंडिया विथ रुपीज सिक्स करोड़ इन्वेस्टमेंट दिस प्रोजेक्ट रिपोर्ट इज डिजाइन फॉर आंटरप्रन्योर्स इन्वेस्टर्स एंड प्रोफेशनल प्लानिंग टू सेट अप ए फ्लेक्सीबल पैकेजिंग मैन्युफैक्चरिंग यूनिट इन इंडिया with an investment of around rupees 6 crores it provides detailed guidance on location infrastructure machinery raw materials manpower and utilities the report includes final projections and market insights tailored for printed laminates and pouch production it is especially useful for startups entering the packaging industry the content aligns with practical decision making and scalable business planning you are requested to go through the disclaimer given on the screen executive summary of the project project name printed laminates and pouches manufacturing unit location proposed in gujarat sanand or the hedge industrial estate investment approximately rupees 6 crores production capacity 150 to 250 metric ton per month depending on laminate structure produced products two layer or three layer laminates stand up pouches zipper pouches center seal and three side seal pouches ideal states to set up a flexible packaging unit are gujarat महाराष्ट्र तेलंगाना एंड तमिलनाडु और रिकमेंडेड लोकेशन इज सारंग एडी से गुजरात बिकॉज ऑफ फॉलोइंग रीजंस फर्स्ट प्रॉक्सिमिटी टू रॉ मटेरियल सप्लाईज एंड पैकेजिंग हब्स लाइक अहमदाबाद वापी एंड दमण इंडस्ट्रियल इकोसिस्टम पावर अवेलेबिलिटी एंड सब्सिडीज GST and logistic benefits approximate uh, land and building requirement is as under land required around 18000 to 20000 square feet that is around half acre plot build up area 15000 to 16000 square feet production area will be around 8 1000 square feet warehouse around 3000 square feet office and admin building around 1000 square feet utilities and lab around 1000 square feet loading and unloading area around 2000 square feet utilities requirement are as under electricity 150 to 200 kilowatt sanction load water 4000 to 5000 liters per day air compressor 5 to 10 hp for pouch making and cleaning chiller 5 to 10 tr solvent based lamination generator 125 kw ampere it is optional for backup exhaust and blower for ventilation and solvent ex exhaust for uh, printing you require rotogravure printing machine with minimum 8 color 800 to 1000 mm width solvent less and solvent based laminator are also required slitting machine is required in printing there are uh, two option one is a uh, rotogravier printing and another is a uh, flexo printing so i will also upload videos about their comparison and what to choose among the different printing methods you need one or more than one pouch making machine ink mixing unit is optional air compressor and chiller 
most of the machineries are available locally in Gujarat or in India. Roto gravier printing machine is a very important unit in this uh, flexible packaging plant. So there is a video on that. So a link is given in the des description. So you can go through my video about a complete guide to rotogravier printing machines. Let's talk about raw material requirement. Polyester and BOPP are required for printed layer. Polyethylene and CPP films are required as sealant layer. Aluminum foil is required for three layer structures. Initially, uh, you can outsource PE, that is poly, white poly, natural poly, clear poly. But later on, when you do expansion, you can have your own extrusion plant where you can produce poly, different kind of polys. You also need ink for the printing and solvents to mix in the ink, adhesives for lamination and zipper valves and other accessories for pouches. I recommend you to watch my video about the guide to choosing laminate structures. The link is given in the description. A design is received from the customer. This design is not suitable for uh, rotogravier printing in its original form. So a prepress work is done to make it suitable for roto rotogravier printing. Then after client approval of the final design, rotogravier cylinders are made. After getting rotogravier cylinder and procuring uh, the print substrate, printing is done. Generally reverse printing is done with rotogravier printing machine. After printing, drying and inspection is done. Then the printed substrate is laminated with second substrate using either solvent based or solvent less lamination machine. After lamination, curing is required so that the bonding between two layers becomes strong. Generally this printing and lamination is done in multi-ups. So the slitting is done. After slitting pouches are manufactured and then final packing and dispatch is done. Manpower requirement is given on the screen. Manpower requirement is given on the screen. Investment breakup is given on the screen. Flexible packaging units monthly production capacity depends largely on the laminate structure being produced and the effective utilization of the printing machines web width. Heavier the structures with thicker layers or denser materials yield higher tonnage output. Lighter laminates or underutilized widths lead to reduced capacity despite running the same machine. From the proposed uh, laminate structure and printing width, you can calculate monthly production capacity 
utilizing the formula given on the screen. Product list and their brief descriptions are given on the screen. After printing and uh, lamination process, you will get printed roll stock, which is called laminates. Multi-layer laminated film in roll form used by FMCG companies for high-speed form fill, seal, machines to pack snacks, grains, powders and liquids. Common structures are PET plus poly, PET made PET poly, BOPP poly, BOPP CPP, BOPP plus mat BOPP, etc. After the laminate is made, pouches are formed. So one of the type of the pouch is center seal pouches. Depending on the pouching machine you have, you can produce three side seal pouches and stand up pouches also. Based on the pouching machines you have, you can produce cheaper pouches and spouted pouches. You can also produce side gadget pouches and vacuum pouches. You can have facilities to produce high barrier laminates and cold seal laminates. We'll uh, discuss about uh, this uh, specialized type of laminates in uh, other parts of the videos. You can also produce retort pouches that are used for ready to eat meals and wet foods. Now let's talk about market opportunity and customers. Some of the segment that you can target in Gujarat are shown on the screen. Food products, pharmaceuticals, agrochemicals, dairy products, personal care are some of the segments in Gujarat. Some of the major buyers are listed on the screen. Also there is export opportunity from Gujarat. Your selling strategy should be to procure B2B bulk orders via direct sales and through packaging exhibitions. It is better to have tie-ups or annual contracts with re regional contract packers and major food brands. Do watch my video about B2B marketing skill for rotogary printing cylinders. I will also prepare the same kind of B2B marketing skill video on flexible packaging also. For dairy product packaging, I have prepared a special video. So if you want to enter into dairy product packaging, you should watch that video also i'll be preparing such video for all the product range so keep watching my videos financial projections will be covered in the next part of the video series stay tuned to my videos for the next part on the flexible packaging. Thank you for watching my video. Do comment and write your feedback. Do like, share and subscribe.